Luke Madrid at Cal State Channel Islands. Um, I'm in a I'm in a room with some of my roommates. We got Mike behind the camera. We got Jeff on the couch over here. Uh, Jeff is a what major are you, Jeff? Biology. And cameraman Mike, what what? Uh, chemistry. Your chemistry major. Okay, and I'm a physics major. So we saw this video uh, labeled Secret Science, the uh, anti gravity experiments. And uh, we saw it and we thought it was complete bullshit, but for our sake we thought we'd give it a try and uh, it took some tweaking but we got it to work. Um, I think the main problem is is that um, it was to have to do with electrical fields or some such thing. Uh, we get the microwaves you know, going or whatever, we had to make a, a phone call and we had to use a half dollar. Uh, we couldn't get the quarter to work, we couldn't get the dime to work, but uh, it's pretty much the this, this standard configuration we've seen it on other videos, but we had to put our phones like this, and then we had it call. <laughs> oh shit, dude. This, this gets better every time. Oh shit, dude! Oh, it's so cool. And that's how you do it, right there. Okay. In a special five point configuration, you need uh, aluminum foil, Pepsi can, and five batteries, and then five more batteries for your table. And you need aluminum foil wire and tape that we use as wire to connect the batteries. What you do is you, you roll your Pepsi can in foil, like so. And then you just smash it down on the bottom, smash it down on top, like that, it's fine. And you take your batteries and you arrange them in fifths around the uh, around the batter and around the uh, can. Take some a little bit of geometry skills, but you should be fine. Then you take the tape and tape them all around. <laughs> and, uh, now the reason we're doing this is because essentially we're going to need the electrical fields to overlap and by having them overlap it not only gives um, a stronger result but also a more reliable one and you're going to see the results of this pretty quickly so as you can see there's a five point configuration all around the can and what we're going to do now is, what are we going to do with this thing? We're going to put the wire around it, that way they're all connected. Okay. When they're all connected, their fields start to uh, overlap. This is how it works. You just pinch it together and then it's aluminum foil. And it's aluminum foil, right? It can't be, it can't be tin foil. It has to be aluminum foil because aluminum foil conducts much better than tin foil. And you just tape it together real fast. Let's keep it secure. There you go. Well, we gotta make sure it's... Oh, okay. Okay. No touching? We're probably gonna tape these down. Yeah, I have to tape these again. Make okay. sure you place the batteries on the can as the same, at the same location as the batteries on the outside. Alright. Once the can is in place with all, with all the five diodes on the outside, what you're going to need to do is, is this is probably the most important part, it doesn't work any other way. You have to place the microwave generator, or in this case, the cell phone, to the west. And it has to, has to be aligned perfectly to the west, and these have to be aligned perfectly, just like so. Um, all right. This next part uh, is definitely integral to the entire thing working and uh, if you don't do it you can't get the experiment to work uh, okay here we go from the fire of hell doth provide and the thoughts from within doth prevail open the portals of darkness 
oh great opener of the way, come forth into this world and blast thee forth through the gates of shining hell, for the blood hath been offered. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan!